so guys welcome to kdp series part one so in this part i'm going to be showing you how to open and verify a kdp account and guys it's going to have six parts so there are five other parts after this part which is the first part and trust me if you follow me from the first part to the last part you are going to make money from amazon kdp so in this video i'm going to show you how to open and verify the accounts and i'm also going to explain some things that you need to know about amazon kdp if this is your first time on this channel you are highly welcome this is hustle connect and all i do here on this channel is to help you with actionable tips on how to make money online and offline if this is what you are interested in then you should consider subscribing and also turn on the bell notification so you'll be the first to know when i drop an amazing content like this one so without further ado guys let's dive in so the very first thing you need to do is to go to kdp.amazon.com so here it is right here so you type in www.kdp.amazon.com and it's going to bring you here and what you want to do next now is to hit on this button here that says sign up and by the time you hit on this button that says sign up what it will do now is to bring you right here and what you want to do next is to hit on this button here that says create your kdp account and guys you might think that you can be able to handle this on your own and just skip this video but trust me there are some very complicated steps that you need to follow so i would advise that you watch the video from the beginning to the end because you need to be guided on how to set up this account so now you are going to hit on create your kdp account and then it's going to bring you to this page and this is where you type in your basic information and please your name you are asked to type in your first name and your last name but please and please make sure it's the name that you have on your id your government issued id make sure it is your legal name that you are typing into this space this box there so now i'm going to just for the sake of this video that is why i'm creating this account i already have my own account but then i'm going to create this account because i need to demonstrate what i'm talking about so i'm going to just use a random name let me just say mavis blake so mavis blake is the name i want to use and then i'm going to type in an email right now let me see so and um, now I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to type in a password and now i'm going to put in another password right here and so what i want to do now is hit on create your kdp account and then it is going to bring me here so now it's asking me to verify my email and what i want to do now is to confirm the email so i've gotten the code so what i'm going to do now is just to type it in and hit on create your amazon account and then now that has brought me here what i want to do now is read this please and please try and go through this i notice many of you always keep this part but trust me you want to read try to read everything from beginning to the end before you hit on agree and after you hit on agree your account is half done right now so what you want to do now is to hit on this part here that says update now your account information is incomplete to publish a book you will need to complete this so you hit on this here that says update now and it's going to bring you here so what you want to do now is to enter a mobile number so i'm in nigeria i'm going to use a nigerian number of course so nigeria and I'm going to type in a number right now so i just typed in a number so now i'm going to hit on send otp and they're going to send me an otp confirmation to this number so i'm going to type it in now and then i'm going to hit on send so now it's going to bring me here so now here's what you're going to do when you get here the first thing you're going to check here is individual just 
hit on individual because you're an individual and then you're going to put in your date of birth that is on your id card and i'm going to now type in my country which is nigeria and then the next thing to do now is to type in my legal name i'm going to type in my full legal name so let me just say mavis blake and my address and now when you get to this address what you want to do is you want to make sure that you put in an address that is traceable on google map that is traceable and why is this kdp might want to issue you a check and by doing that they are going to you know we build the check to wherever you are and you want to make sure that you have an address that they can actually trace so that is the reason why you need to find a very popular place and use that place as your address now then let me say for example you stay around lagos you stay where we have uh unilag you want to use unilag as the address as your address that is very very important so now let's just assume that i am around unilag what i want to do now is i'm going to just say university of lagos oh let me just google search let me google search university of lagos lagos postal code so here it is right here so i'm going to copy this postal code right now and i'm going to head back i'm going to type in i'm going to paste the postal code right here now and then i'm going to put in lagos now i'm going to change this to yaba because it's in yaba so what i want to do now is i'm going to now type in that same phone number that i typed in the first time so okay let me just change this to yaba right now so um now i'm going to type in the number so now that i have the number typed in what i want to do next is scroll down and in this option here they are telling us to add where our bank is what we want to do now we don't have a bank that we can use so what i want to do now is to hit on this option here that says i don't have a bank what you want to do now is you're you're going to scroll down and you're going to come to this point that says complete tax information right here you are going to hit on it you are going to save and continue then it's going to bring you right here are you a US citizen you're going to hit on no are you acting as an intermediary agent blah 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 blah, blah. you're going to hit on no and you're going to scroll down so you're going to confirm everything you've typed in here and now what you want to do next is you're going to now search for your country right here search for your country right here mine is nigeria so i'm going to use nigeria i'm going to hit on that i'm going to scroll down now so what i want to do next now is to come onto this place and i'm going to uncheck this box right here so i'm going to uncheck this box right here so i'm going to uncheck the box and then you're going to bring these options so now I'm going to now hit on this option here that says the country where I am liable to pay tax does not issue TIN to its residents. So I'm going to hit on this first option and then I'm going to hit on continue right now. I'm going to now scroll down. And guys, please make sure you go through this form before you check the box. So I'm going to check the box right now and I'm going to type in my name. And what I want to do now is I'm going to sign and preview. So there you have the tax information and all that stuff. So you want to go through it right now. So you go through it and what you want to do, you are going to submit the form and boom. Your tax information has been received. So what you want to do now is hit on this button that says exit interview. And you're going to head back to your KDP account what you want to do now is hit on save it's now saved and then what you want to do now is now come up here and hit on bookshelf and bam you now have your account up and running so in the next part of this series we are going to be learning how to do a proper keyword research 
so that part is going to be all about keyword research on amazon kdp so guys now that we are done with creating the accounts and verifying the accounts i said i was going to explain some few stuff to you now you have three different types of books you can sell on amazon platform the first kind of book you can sell is the high content book these high content books are the fiction or non-fiction books and basically you can sell that in kindle format paperback format or hardcover format now what is kindle format kindle format is the format that can be read on the kindle device the device shown on the screen right now is a kindle device this device is designed for reading books from amazon kdp and then the paperback is like the physical copy the printed copy that will be sent to the buyer and then the hardcover is like the harder version of the paperback so that is for the high content book then the low content books we have the coloring book the diary and stuff like that those are the low content books that you can actually sell on kdp so just try to get familiar with this in the next video i'm going to explain more stuff about amazon kdp you are going to get more insights about this platform so that will be the end of today's video guys i'll see you in the next one bye for now